Blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. So this video is Balance and Polarity. How to remain balanced in a polarised world. Now that's something that's uh, sometimes quite hard. Now this video, um, I've been thinking about doing it for quite a while, but uh, just recently I was um, I found a, a comment on one of my my videos that uh, just reminded me that this video is something that that is needed and um, and put it up a little bit higher on my list of, of to-do videos so um, here it is so polarity what is polarity now it is um, a hermetic principle so the hermetic principle states Everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its opposite. Like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet. All truths are but half-truths. All paradoxes can be reconciled. So what does that mean? Um, it means the extremes of, say, black and white, love and hate, uh, happiness and sadness, hot and cold. It's even up and down, in and out. It is the polarity, the, the difference, the extreme difference. And each are the same thing, but the degrees of which they are the same changes. So if you think about polarity as being two sides, so you have black on one side, white on the other, and then you have all those different little increments that go from one to the other. So at what point do you say that something is black or now white? Because of those small little increments. It is still the same colour, it is just at what point do you now say that something is black or something is white? Someone's happy or someone is sad. You have the extreme pole, but it is still part of the whole. The same thing, it's just it's just a different point of view. So how does this relate to magic? Well, the hermetic principles are used in magic. They are the foundation, the cornerstone of magic. So the principle of polarity is used in the way of how the poles can be manipulated. So poles of the same thing can be manipulated to your cause. You have the active pole and you have the passive pole. Or you could say it's um, like electric magnetism. You have the positive pole and the negative pole. But don't get, don't get caught up in the positive being good and the negative being bad thing. That's not what we're talking about here. It's not good and bad yeah it's it's an example of polarity if you look at the positive as being the pushing or active or even repelling energy so that active energy and if you look at the negative as being the attracting the passive the the uh, the drawing in energy then knowing where your intention lies on this scale will help you to figure out what you need to do to move the object to your desired position. Does it require a, a, a positive or a negative charge? Do you need to push it or do you need to pull it? So in terms of uh, polarity and people, 
So again, finding your balance in a, a polarized world. A polarized person is one who is fixed and stuck in a pole. They are the extreme of something and view everything that is not the same as their thinking as the exact opposite and in turn incorrect or even bad or evil. Examples of this would be uh, black magic versus white magic, um, Wiccan versus um, normal witchcraft, Christian versus Muslim, um, right wing government versus left wing government. So these are people that are, for the most part, they are very passionate about their views and can be quite militant and rigid. Not all, but most of them are. They aren't able to see the other point of view. So I'll use an example of, um, say, um, uh, let's say, a, a vegan. Now, before you get all up in my face, um, it's just an example. Um, and like with any movement, there are extremes or polarities. Now, many, and not all vegans, um, or let's just say people who have seen the light uh, or have had a almost religious experience um, with one particular diet, uh, will find the need to school those not of the same polarity on the evils of not thinking the same way as them. Same goes for, say, um, what's another hot topic? Um, people who are anti-vaccination or pro-vaccination. You will see uh, back and forth each polarized person trying to convert the other to their side, their pole. Back and forth, round and round, neither budging, rigid, passionate and militant. Around and around and around the carousel of debate they go. Going nowhere and ultimately achieving nothing. Which is the end. Um, which is the end means of the whole exercise. It is what the exercise is designed to do. It is designed to keep people going around and around and around and around, not achieving anything at all. A polarized person is easy to manipulate. You can see it's almost emblazoned on them, the right button to push or the correct lever to pull as they wear it as a badge of honour almost. The media do this polarising, pushing and pulling all the time. It is about opposites and polarising opinion. And it is where the entertainment business is best. You get two polarised people into a room with a camera and there you have reality TV. It is an us and them, the division of thinking and the placing of labels on that extreme. As divided and polarised people are so easy to control with their instant reactions to many things. Now there are a lot more nuances that go into this. But when you are in that extreme pole, if someone does something or says something that does not line up with your particular view, your particular um, idea of, of how everything should be run, then out come the uh, espousing of opinions, the, the reaction in a fearful and sometimes violent way, or sometimes it would be just a complete shutdown of no, 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 this is, this is my way, no, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. Now this is because uh, a polarised person 
is being pulled as tight as a drum in that position, in that extreme. And at a moment's notice, they can pop because they are pulled so tight, which is why they have that natural reaction when someone is so polarized, so much in the extreme, very easy, as I said, to manipulate one little thing and off they go. They're set off, which is great if you are into manipulating others. And again, this is what manufactured opposition is designed to do. It's designed to keep people fighting amongst each other in the carousel, going nowhere and achieving nothing. It's divide and conquer. So how do we, uh, how do we change this? How do we, how do we find balance in a polarized world? So you yourself may find yourself um, a polarized person. You uh, may have been watching so far and heard me say vegan or uh, anti-vaccine and just gone, right, I'm going to start doing my little tirade. Um, and that just explains and, and, and shows that you are a polarized person because you haven't thought about it. You've just reacted. Reaction, 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 reaction. You don't see the other side. You haven't, what they say, you haven't had any critical thinking uh, was done on, on this uh, topic and you've just reacted. But... Um, if you have found that you are a polarized person, don't be put off, as for the most part, everyone is. That's how we've been designed to, to be. We've been um, manipulated from a very young age to choose a side, to um, have a, almost an extreme opinion about things. It's black or it's white. There's no, let's say, shades of gray. There's no um, increments. Um, between one or the other. So it is something that everyone has to deal with at, um, in, at any time of their life. And it is for the witch and the magical practitioner to try and depolarize themselves and become balanced and centered. If you've traveled around any pagan circles, you would have heard, I'm sure, people saying that you need to ground your energy. You need to center yourself. Um, there's even a song um, that's uh, about walking in balance. Uh, so the simple um, and basic things um, of um, centering yourself, balancing yourself, um, is sometimes overlooked in magic as people rush to the sexy parts of let's do a spell and let's um let's make uh let's make a servitor or let's um hex or curse someone um those sorts of things are overlooked um and uh sometimes for the uh Uh, the detriment of the magical practitioner because then they are quite polarized. Now many witches, magicians and magical practitioners are very effective in their magic even though they are polarized. But they can be better. And as I said, if you are on the extreme for too long, you will, by the simple fact that you are being pulled so tight, that you will start to become, you start to come apart, um, pull apart at the seams. As the extremes are needed, but we are not designed to exist in the extreme. So, what do we do? Balancing exercises are the foundation of any magical system 
and magical practice. They are designed to focus the mind, ground the energy from the poles, example, positive and negative charge, and to bring you into the center, into alignment. Now, we are physical beings. We must move. If we don't move, then we have stagnation and atrophy. So being balanced does not mean staying in absolute center or zero point. That in itself is an extreme. So movement is needed. Just like in the Hermetic Principle of Rhythm, where there is the swinging of the pendulum, how wide the arc or how violent the swing is up to you. But movement is necessary. I kind of liken this to the Lemniscate or the Infinity Symbol. The movement is minimal and less extreme, but it is that continual movement. So a few grounding techniques are uh, taking off your shoes, getting and standing on the ground um, and feeling that groundedness, feeling yourself um, grounding that charge. It's, it's like electricity. If you are continually polarized, you are holding a, a charge that needs to be grounded. If not, then you're just going to fizzle and pop in a, uh, in a strange uh, arc of electricity that doesn't achieve anything at all. So ground yourself, physically putting your feet on the ground. The middle pillar um, meditation is also a good one. So meditating on balance, the idea of balance, what does that mean? And thinking about where you are maybe on, uh, on the poles, where you are, and meditating on bringing yourself into alignment, becoming balanced. Now, if you are part of our group, you are taught the banishing ritual of the lesser pentagram, which is used by many magical practitioners and uh, also to begin a regular meditation practice. This again is used to ground you and center you and keep you um, in, a, in, a, in a state of equilibrium. So this is the foundation and is needed before running ahead and starting the cool stuff. You have to eat your veggies before you get to the dessert. So if you are polarized and you run off doing uh, different spells, as I said, you may be effective, but you could be so much more. So when you become centered and balanced, you can see either polarity equally. You are not as easy to manipulate as you are no longer polarized and rigid. And if you look at it in the context that you have a better vantage point, um, so the point in the center has been raised, so now you can see um, and understand more of both poles because you can see both of them quite clearly. If you are polarized on one side, it's very hard for you to see the other side because it is so far away if you are um, looking at it in a, um, a relative way. Now when you can see both sides you can then move between the poles because you are not stuck and rigid. So like a martial artist that uses the energy of their opponent, either pushing or pulling them, as they are balanced and can see what is needed to unbalance their opponent. 
Because you are centered, you can bend and shape yourself in accordance with your will. When you are polarized, you are rigid and will snap and break. So let's look at it another way. You raise the point so that you are at a higher vantage point and you can see more. You are no longer on the base or on base consciousness. You have lightened the load, so to speak, or the pole that you are um, no longer in. So you are less rigid and less stuck. So if we look at it as polar opposites of black and white, and that they are squares on a chessboard, alternating between black and white, or one pole to the other pole. And then you are on a square. You are unable to see anything but the square, and maybe, if you are lucky, a little bit of the next square. Your view is limited. Now, if you think of the idea of being centered and balanced, this means that you get off the square you rise up to see clearly that there are many squares and there is another side and also that it is just a game. But who is playing the game? As you become more balanced, you see that the game is being played by one, let's say, one person or energy and each side is being moved by that energy. So when you are polarized and stuck on either the black or the white square, you become a pawn in someone else's game. Balance and center yourself and start to move your own chess piece around. It's not easy. It'll take time and continually trying to balance yourself. But you will see that as you become more balanced, you can then see the other side. The closer that you become centered, the less likely you are to be affected by others. You are no longer polarized in a position. You then raise up off the chessboard and are able to move the pieces around yourself. So becoming balanced in a polarized world it takes time, it takes practice, and it can be done. And you will find that many people that you associated with when you were polarized may not understand you anymore, and you them, because you are no longer in the extreme. You have more information, you are balanced, you're less likely to be influenced by those on the polar opposites. So take your time. And when you become balanced, you will find that your magic will increase your perspective will increase and you will be a better witch, a better magician, a better person. So I hope that explains it a little bit. 
Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be.